baby for her to me. That's why you need a boyfriend. Hey guys, I'm Shalina. I'm back with a new video. I know what you probably think right now. I know I did it again, but this time I have an excuse as I sold almost all my old clothes on Depop. If you don't follow me on Depop already, make sure you do this now as I'm still selling some of my old clothes to have some new space for all of the things that I got. I don't even want to talk too much. Let's just get straight to it. I will try everything on for you guys and I want you to tell me in the comments what piece is your favorite. Okay guys, I put everything down. We do this step by step. I'm gonna start whoop, with New Look. How beautiful is this coat, guys? Really? And you know what the good thing is? This coat only cost me $34.99. And I think this is amazing for a winter wood coat. Like, if you're on a budget or you just don't wanna spend so much money on a coat, this is the perfect autumn coat it's not really thick but i feel like for the early autumn days it's really really perfect i bought this in a uk 12 i can't wait to wear it okay on to the next thing i went to jd the other day and if you follow me on instagram if you don't do this follow me now actually not him um yeah, if you follow me, you know i am obsessed with tracksuits at the moment so when i saw this velour Adidas tracksuit. Let me start with the jacket first. I fell in love. The material really, really looks expensive. I bought the top in a UK 12 and it is a bit pricey because the jacket cost 60 pounds, which is quite a lot, but I would say it's worth it because it really, really, really looks good. Obviously, I had to get the bottoms as well. These are some leggings, so they are not joggers or something. And what I really, really like are the stripes, that they're also black, but they're just in a different material, which makes them so unique. Okay, so the jacket was quite pricey with 60 pounds, but the leggings go for 33 pounds, which is obviously a bit expensive for some leggings, but since they're velour and Adidas, I think it's worth it. I think this is a you can twirl as well. And I would say normally I wear UK14 in my bottoms, but these run quite big, so UK12 is all right. Yeah, so the next thing is from the Koa. If you saw my last haul, you know I had this nice cropped denim jacket. Now I have something else. I have another cropped denim jacket, and this time it's in black. Guys, this is a must-have for the autumn days. I mean, I don't really see black crop denim jackets everywhere and I think I needed this in my closet as I have tons of blue denim jacket in every shape and size that you can imagine with pearls, with grips, with everything, but I needed a black one. And um, I ordered this in a small size. I think this is a small, yeah, this is a small. But it runs big and it's fitting oversized. And guys, I told you I have a special relationship with this color. Like, bring it over, bring it over. I love this color so much. So I had to get this cropped yellow hoodie. This is a medium. I mean, the color is quite bright for the autumn days maybe, but you know how London is. Sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's rainy. So I would definitely wear this for the sunny days. Okay, so this hoodie goes for $19.99. I think that's the normal price, like you pay $19.99 for every crop hoodie out there. And yeah, I put this on my Snapchat the other day. I went on the Zara website and they had so many nice things. So I was just ordering literally everything. <sighs> Let me get the boxes out there because they're quite heavy. This is one and I have another one of it, but I'm not gonna put it up now. Let me stop with this. Me and this color, I know. I buy everything in yellow. Does this say anything to this? Really, guys, a puffer jacket in yellow. Zara, let me just say thank you for this amazing jacket. I think I'm gonna wear this each and every day. It's so special and I couldn't believe it, but it actually is also water resistant. And all my jackets, because I like wool coats, they're not really water resistant, so I'm quite happy that I found this jacket. It was, how much was it? $69.99, 70 pounds, but really, it is worth it. It is water resistant, it is so thick. It really, really keeps you warm. 
and I bought this in a size medium. Normally I go, yeah, I go, for, I would go for a large normally because like I said, I like the oversized, but this jacket really, really wants large. So like I said, I'm obsessed with wool coat. So I had to order another one from Zara. And um, the good thing about this is that it has a hood. I have so many coats, but none of them have a hood. And sometimes when you're cold, you need a hood. I bought this in a extra large and I know this sounds big but my friend works at Zara and she's skinnier than me and she taught me you have to buy it in a bigger size it just makes it look way cozier than when you just buy it in a medium you know I'm so weak like my arm hurts <laughs> it is heavy you can need to go to the gym okay so here we have another wool coat I mean it's nice but really and truly it is very very thin and this is what bothers me a bit it goes for $89.99 to £90, which is quite a lot for a coat that is that thin. It really feels like a cardigan. I might I might keep it, I'm not too sure now. I bought this in a large. I mean, it has quite a nice look. Okay, there was everything that was in this box. Let me get the other box now. Guys. I don't know why Zara is doing this to me every autumn, but I feel like Zara has so many nice winter and autumn clothes, like really. Let me start with this turtleneck. I so fell in love with this color. I just feel like it's such a statement and you can just combine it with other bright colors, like pink or something, like pink shoes. It is really warm. When I tried it on, I was sweating. Like it's very, very good for the winter days. I bought this in a medium. Let me see how much went for 29.95 so 30 pound i think that's quite cheap for zara so then i got another jumper with braided sleeves i really really like this detail here it's something different and i like these big sleeves in general like all my jumpers from leslie have these big sleeves and i feel like this braided style is something new that i hadn't seen this year this jumper goes for 39.99 bought this in a size large as usual on to the next item. Oh, this jumper is so, I wanna say so, it's so fluffy. It really is like a, it's amazing. It's like a blanket. Can't wait until it's very cold and I'm gonna wear it and I'm just gonna feel so. Yeah, I bought this for $39.99 and I bought this in a large on purpose because you can also wear it with over the knee boots. Okay, so the last item I got from Zara is this coat. To be honest with you, when I ordered it online, I was thinking it's a heavy trench coat, but it turns out to be a knitwear coat, should have read it. It's quite big, I bought this in a lot, and I'm thinking about going a size down. It's quite expensive as well. It's $89.99, which is quite a lot for a very thin trench. Now on to misguided. I've ordered some things on there. Obviously, I had to get the spiker jacket in this mustard yellow. I think this is the last item in this color. I haven't tried it on, but I'm gonna do this now. I got this in a UK 12. It's a faux suede material. Um, yeah, the jacket is quite thin, but for the early autumn days, it's quite perfect. I mean, biker jackets are perfect for autumn in general. Then I got another faux fur biker jacket. This one is in a duster pink. This is a bit thicker than the yellow one. And I think it's looking quite cool. It also has this detail here on the back. Yeah, I saw my last pink biker jacket on Depop, so I'm happy to have a new one in my wardrobe. Then I have a normal crop top with long sleeves. Because sometimes, like when I go out, especially in the evening, I like to wear just a long sleeve, a thin long sleeve underneath, have a nice biker jacket and some heels. So I needed this item in my wardrobe. Then I got some jeans, and this is actually the first time I got some misguided jeans. I've never tried them out. I'm excited to try them. What's very good on misguided is that you can pick between short, regular, and long. And you know I have short legs, so I'm quite happy that I could order this in a 14 short. Then I ordered another pair. I haven't tried on nothing, guys. This is life. This is my life reaction. I ordered them in a 14 regular. Yeah, if they're a bit too long, I will bring them to the tailor. They have a stretchy material, which is actually nice because I have thick thighs. I 
you need a stretch. This is the last pair. This is also a 14 short. Um, yeah, ripped jeans, high waisted, like all of them. Didn't even say this, but they are all high waisted. I think they look like all of the other jeans that I have in my closet already, but you can never have enough jeans. Why are you always overdoing it like that? Just buy two items. Next thing that I got from ASOS, I bought another tracksuit. This is so cute. I needed a jacket like this in a nice pink with black stripes. I bought this in a size small. I actually would like to have a medium, but medium is sold out, so I was just thinking, never mind, let me just get a small. I obviously had to get the bottoms too. These are in a size large. They fit exactly like the black joggers that Adidas sell. I'm quite happy that I got this because I checked earlier and it sold out. I will still link the item below because sometimes they just come back in stock. This bag is heavy. And guess why? Topshop, what do you think? Why did I buy that? Tons of Jamie jeans. This is just a simple blue pair. I needed this in my closet because I just feel like I only have ripped jeans and um, yeah, I need something more decent. Jamie jeans heaven. So the next pair that I've got are some dark gray blackish Jamie jeans. Quite simple, but like I said, I have so many ripped jeans. I needed something simple that I can also pair with a shirt, for example, because it's not always looking good with ripped jeans. Yeah, yeah. Then obviously had to order a simple black pair. These are my absolute, absolute favorite black jeans and the good thing about jamie jeans is i feel like they really last long like the joni jeans for example when you wear them a couple times i feel like between the legs they are not really lasting that long and the last pair that i got are obviously some blue ripped jeans like always <laughs> they cost 46 pounds are also the w30 length 32 um, I have a similar pair of them, but obviously after a while the ribs get wider and wider, so I needed a fresh pair after I don't know how long. These are definitely one of my favorite Jamie jeans, and I'm happy that they brought out a newer version of them. Okay, that was over the clothes, but I have something else which is quite special because there's this brand that's called George and yeah, they sent me this Woodwatch and in fact, because I was thinking Woodwatch, that must look cheap, honestly. But when I saw how these watches are looking like, I was quite surprised. So this watch comes in a wooden box, which is quite nice because it's very, very unique. This watch really looks so amazing and I feel like it's looking so expensive. Like, I wasn't expecting this. And this watch is from the Cora series and it's in rose gold and which is quite nice is that you can send them your measurements in the beginning so it will come in the perfect size and even if it's not fitting they will send you a set of extra links so you can just get it done quickly somewhere else and it also comes with a natural finishing oil pen which is quite good because obviously the watch is made out of wooden and um, to make it just look fresh and nice all the time, obviously you need some finishing oil to fresh it up. Overall, I think this is so unique and I needed something like this and I cannot wait to wear it. With this watch, I have a little giveaway for you guys. So make sure you check out my description box to follow the steps and win one of these gorgeous wood watches. You know, this is my favorite part of the video, like always, my sneakers. I don't know why, but I just feel like lately there are not really that many nice sneakers that are coming out, so I don't really went ham this time with the sneakers, but the ones that I got are really nice. You probably have seen these on my Instagram already, and I was surprised with the engagement. Guys, really, like, all of you girls were obsessed with these pink vans, and uh, I don't know why but I just love them so much they're so so comfortable especially these ones they look really good because they have this suede material then this dusty pink what else do we need in our closet girls the next pair are some night presto flyknit ultras check the name quick it was correct it is correct I'm good and um yeah, I have some Nike Prestos as you know, but they are all low. I'm not really into high tip sneakers, but these are quite decent, needed some white sneakers, so I had to go with them. 
and you know I love my Balenciaga sneakers I have so many I think this is my fourth pair and um, now I got them in blue and they were sold out everywhere but I got them from a brand called McTrans it's like a person shop I think they're from France or Belgium and they were so nice and sent them to me and I was so happy that I found them and um, what I actually like is that I can still wear them in winter and in autumn because they're like top they're like a, like a mid blue let me say mid blue and they're not gonna get dirty as quick as my beige ones that I have and I'm so excited that they're so dirty oh and for those that don't know Balenciaga sneakers if you don't own some they are really really comfortable and last but not least, I got some new heels. I don't even know why I haven't featured heels before in my haul because I have so many heels and I got new heels. I think I get more heels than sneakers every month. So um, I don't know if I've said this before, they're from Ego. But how gorgeous are these babies? Really like yellow and then this um, see through strap at the front. And um, I have them in nude as well, and they are really, really comfortable. I had them on the other day, and I was quite surprised because, um, you know, they're quite high, and I was expecting them to hurt, but they weren't. I got another pair from Ego. I mean, we're approaching awesome. We all need a boot. And what I really, really like about these boots is this sock detail that we have on here, this knit material that matches the faux suede material. And um, yeah, I haven't seen something like this before. And I'm so excited when I can finally wear them. I showed you everything, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too long. But if you're a shopaholic like me, you must have enjoyed this haul. Like I said, I've linked all links below so you can visit all the websites now and go ahead and order everything that I got as well. So make sure you follow me on all my social media accounts. I'm literally everywhere. Don't forget to comment your favorite item out of all the things that I showed you. And then I would just say, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.